What's going on guys? It is me, Lone Vault Wanderer, and I'm here with some more Fallout 4 news for you today. It's about the same topic as my last two videos, those photos and that video that got leaked about the um, screenshot of the Creation Kit Studio for the next Fallout game. And a lot of people got on the hype train, and I did, you know, admittedly, in the first video. And then in the second video, I pointed out that I believed that it was fake. I'll get into that a little bit later, but in response to all of that, some fans have asked uh, Pete Hines, who is a representative of Bethesda, on his Twitter channel, can you uh, confirm or deny the legitimacy and the validity of these particular leaks? And I'll put those tweets on the screen for you right now so you can have a look for yourself. The first one is asked, Bethesda said they will eliminate false rumors after Survivor 2299. Now screenshots of Fallout 4 development have came. Are they true? And Pete Hines has responded, We debunked a site made to look like it was registered by us. We do not comment on rumors and speculation like this. And then another person has asked, Come on Pete, you got fans falling for rumors again. All they want to know is if it's real or not. And then Pete Hines again responds, Then you should ignore everything unless it comes from an official source or channel, as we've said previously. So Pete Hines is, I want to say he's going on the defensive, but he's doing what he's always done best and pretty much giving us a, uh, an answer that isn't really an answer. And look, I completely understand where he's coming from. I mean, if he was obligated to respond to every single rumor and leak about Fallout 4, he'd have to be on his Twitter 24-7. I mean, there are so many leaks, so many rumors and speculations going around. It would put an undue burden on him for us to expect him to respond to everything. Now, the counter argument to that is, is that at least he should respond to the things that have the internet hyped up a lot and that look legitimate. For example, like the Survivor site and like these photos in the video going around of the Creation Kit studio. I'm not really to go on either side of that argument. I'm gonna try and stay a neutral ground here. Um, I, I just, I'm just saying that I can understand where he's coming from. Um, and I can also understand some fans saying, you know, just just tell us either way. We're not asking you to confirm the game not here or there. We're just asking you, you know, is this particular leak true or not? Um, which side of the argument you fall on, I'd, I'd love to hear your opinions about it. But, you know, just be respectful to Pete. I, I, I don't want him, you know, he, he's been great to Fallout fans. He, he responds to so many tweets. And most um, heads of, you know, video game companies don't do that kind of thing. So, at least we should respect him for that. But, um, look, I, I, I can understand why fans have upset. I, I, I'm upset as well, guys. Like, as a Fallout fan, I'm, I'm getting increasingly frustrated that people are trying to fool the Fallout community. We've become the new Half-Life 3, and I don't think many people are happy with it, but that's just the way it is. But I, I don't think that taking it out on representatives of Bethesda is the right is the right way to go. Um, that's just my opinion. As I said, I'm not going to take either ground, either side on this one because I don't really have a strong opinion either way. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on it. And there's a second tweet that he's put out, um, and I'll put that on the screen right now so you can have a look. Somebody has asked, we need some answers about Fallout 4, we waited too much, we need to clarify things, at least acknowledge what's going on. And Pete Hines has responded, what's going on is Todd Howard has stated that it will be a long time before they're ready to talk about their next game. And obviously that's referring to Todd Howard way back in the day, I think it was a couple of months ago, and he pretty much came out and said, uh, we're not going to be talking about our next game for a long time. Um, you know, I, I, I guess this is the way things are. It's, it, it sucks guys, look, I, I understand that it sucks, a lot of people are saying, and quite rightly so, that just be patient, you know, we want the next Fallout game to be good, we want them to take their time with it, um, and my argument to that, was well, not really an argument, but it's just us saying, look, we, we don't care when it comes out, it can come out two years from now, but if at least if they tell us that it's, it's being, being made and it's in development, then at least two years in that two year time frame will be comforted by that fact if you know what I mean now I'm not saying you know if they don't reveal to us reveal the game to us soon that they're, they're a bad company or you know they're doing wrong by us I'm not saying that by any means but you know it would be nice is all I'm saying it would be nice to get some sort of confirmation or clarification hopefully we get something at this year's E3 but there's a document that's been released which I'm going to be talking about in my next video I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on it 
And um, just a quick thing before I uh, uh, end things on this video. A lot of people are upset, or not a lot of people, but some people are upset about my last video um, where I seem to be attacking Mr. Matty Plays about Fallout 4 and the whole LLC versus LCC um, argument and whether and how I didn't really have any proof to back my claims and I couldn't just say outright that it was fake. I should have made it clear that that was my opinion, but this is coming from a fan that has been disappointed by the Survivor website, disappointed by so many other um, hoaxes that when I saw this red flag and understood what it meant, I, 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 I got frustrated and I made that video in a frustrated uh, mood. So I'm, I'm sorry if I seem like I was attacking anyone. I did not intend that. Um, I know Mr. Matty plays. He covers Fallout 4 news better than I do. And um, he, every every news article, he, he's on it. He gives his opinion. If his, if, if his research is off a little bit and he's giving slightly incorrect opinions, I think everybody is entitled to their own opinion and to correct him, so long as it's done in a respectful way. And I believe that I was as respectful as I could have been. Um, but, you know... I, I've been wrong in the past as well, and, I, and I've taken criticism. I take constructive criticism, and I take, um, uh, I don't really take insults, but I, I, I take people's feedback wholeheartedly, and if I'm wrong, I'll admit that I'm wrong. Um, and that's exactly what Mr. Matty Plays did. When I commented my thoughts on his video, he thanked me for the clarification, and I, and I told him that he was welcome. We're not trying to fight or anything like that. I was just ex trying to express my opinion and point out the fact that, yes, he was wrong in this, this instance. That was, it, it was pretty clear. Uh, but I've been wrong in the past as well, and if he was to correct my uh, opinions and I saw that I was wrong, then I'd accept that wholeheartedly so I'm not trying to attack him there, there is not this fight between me and him we're both just Fallout fans trying to get to the bottom of things and waiting for a, a Fallout 4 reveal and a potential release so anyways guys this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer please take care of yourself and keep fighting the good fight